Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to try Windows Server 2022. Well, Windows Server 2022 it just released in August 18, 2021. So today, let's see the performance and let's see the new features about this today. So let's get started. Alright, so let's create a mutual machine. And let's pick this. Uh, let's go to later. Okay, so we're gonna do, we gotta go to Windows Server 2019. Alright, All right, so name it Windows Server 2022. So, yeah, why not? And I got my storage full, so I decided to another drive install. And there we go. Let's, let's enable you to buy. And of course, I hit it because 2% because, yeah, I forgot to make it that video. Next. Geeks. Uh, I have another six gigs. Six gigs. SATA. A big SATA. Make it, yes. I'm going to make it 80 gigabytes. And there we go. We are the setup screen. We need 3D graphics to so be shit. Sh it still works. Alright, so 3D graphics and stretch. Alright, so there we go. My maximum resolution is 1080p, so I pick that. 1080p, I click finish. And there we go, so Windows Server 2022 is only getting to be installed. Uh, yep. It's 6 gigabyte. And I'm gonna find the ISO, there we go, the ISO image. You can download it at the Microsoft website right here. So at the link at the description. So it, this is this is official. This is official. It's Microsoft.com and go to Windows Server 2022. And there we go. So as you can see, it's completely free for you. We download ISO on that. So yeah, your business, a name, whatever, and continue and click your language and done. When downloading ISO. After that, so we got the ISO, so now let's boot up. Let's boot up. And let's see. Loading files and. Wait, what? This 22 is Windows 10. It's Windows 10 logo, not Windows 11 logo. Surely gonna beat this. This beat by Microsoft. Alright, All right, some logo change to this. And just click next. And it changed this. Why <laughs> Windows 11 doesn't? It's not really not quite well. Let's continue. It looks the background is match to my my logo. Yeah, my background is match to my logo. Yeah, so let's see. Alright, so this is the standard Ambushation about that, so next, so I'll set the license and then also the checkbox. So maybe the checkbox are not accepted. It's not Windows 11, it's not Windows 11 team, it's Windows 10 team. Go to custom settings, click new and go to that and go to that. So let's wait until this installs.
Okay, so we are now finally installed. So, as you can see, the logo looks Windows Basic logo. Windows set Windows Basic team right here. Windows Seven team. But the, except for the buttons, is weird though. I don't know why. So let's click case. Okay, enter. Oh, what's that? What's that? Oh, what's that? Okay. And then enter. Uh, okay, I have one password. There we go. We're on this one. What? What is the command form stuff? Yeah, this is. Came a command prompt stuff instead of on the on the login UI screen. <laughs> the command prompt stuff in here. Wait, what? Whoa! All right, I need to reinstall again. Yay! No more command prompt stuff. Yeah, let's go continue now. Yay! Finally, okay. Control delete. This is pretty cool. So, yeah, well, good. It's still Windows 10. Oh my god. So this is weird. Windows Server 2022. It's. I mean, I feel like Windows 10. So let's go install VM tools right away. Alright, so yeah, so here's the Windows 10 21. Alright, so this is Windows Server 2022 final install. So there we go. So let's see the, the icon change and then some new features up there. So yeah.
pretty good about it. If I do, so let's see the the new features about that. So the first thing we get new features is the icons. Yeah, only settings has changed icons here. Only settings. Yeah, it looks Windows 11 settings icon. And settings. And settings. It's it looks similar as this thing, but but in settings, it has an outline right there. Yeah, outline. And let's see, it has a built-in apps in it. So like any example so it has a terminal nothing and the, the this one has powershell microsoft edge let's get a weed of internet explorer from there the internet explorer finally move 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 yeah it has been replaced with microsoft edge because when you open that yep yeah, in windows 11 it opened this windows 11 it's straight up to Microsoft Edge, so yeah, this thing is broken. But as you can see, the most of that it seems fine. It looks Windows 10, but let's see. Go search Winvo. As you can see, it's 21H2. And it looks really like Windows 10. Windows 10 21H2. And this is Microsoft discontinued OS. So this is what for that. And let's see the icon change for that. So we have paint icon from that. And Windows 10 21H2. So Windows Server 2022 21H2. So this is 21H2 Windows. Yeah, Microsoft is still have Windows 21H2. So even that, it's a notepad. It's the problem with the notepad. It has some um, no icon on that thing, so yeah, there's a bug on the notepad. Can you notepad search here? Yeah, so it's fine, but it's old icons. But it's actually good, but let's see some features for that. Yeah, so let's see the wallpapers. IB. Oh, I can change the wallpapers. But you in this Windows Server 2022, you can change dark mode, etc. Right here, dark mode for that. So and then also has a lock screen, teams. And yeah, so Windows 10. So this is 2022 Windows Server 2022 2022. So yeah, that's only the features. So when you bug on your notepad. Yeah, so let's see how big is this in control delete. It looks feeling like Windows 10. Well let's see the lock screen. Yeah, as you can see it's it's right here, it's Windows 10. It's Windows 10. And it seems fine, but it's Windows 10, and as you can see the folders, I now, now in Windows 10. So there's feeling like this. So this folder right here is actually Windows 11, but yeah, probably Windows 11 team for that. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. So the Windows acts as like really good. It's 21H2. So yeah, that should be. So thanks for watching. Comment down below from the side and subscribe and goodbye.